Yes, brother. Even you holding your own. Yes, you don't know what you've gone through. You need it. Thank God you have it in your hand. Lay it on your head. Put it on your head and shout Jesus Christ. Put it on your head. Shout Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Take your crown back. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, that is what you need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look at the glory of God. Look at him. Look at him. Look at total restoration. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. 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 They took it away from you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Be restored now. Yes. Take it. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Can you see? Can you see him? Can you see him? The family scattered. The family scattered. Now I want to ask him something, brother. Brother, where is your sister? Where is your sister? I don't have a biological sister, but I've got an adopted sister, and she's what? and she. What does he say? <laughs> He says that he doesn't have a biological sister, but he has another sister. Adopted sister. Adopted sister. Yes. Yeah. Where is she? She's in Swaziland in the in her village. In the village, what is happening to them? Nothing is going on for her. Listen. I want your I want your life to change. Yes, sir. You might say that is not mine. Sister, no, God has brought that girl into your family for her to change, for the Lord to change her. Amen. You understand? Yes. God did not bring you into that family through shame. Forget about what happened. Forget about what transpired between your father and, that, and her father. Forget about that. You understand? Yes, sir. Forget about what happened in the family. It's a thing of the past. It's not your fault. But the reason why God brought you into that family it's for the family to change. So don't look at them as people of different. Look at them as your own. Then God will now restore you. Even your marriage, your marital life, you has nothing to show. Your relationship. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, I do. You hear what I said? What did I say? God will restore my marriage, my relationship. Yes. So when you take care of them, everything about you will be taken care of. Amen. God will take care of you. Amen. So yes, I know you don't have the finances, don't have the resources right now, but I wanted to get a small gift I sent to her and just tell them that God loved them. God tell her, just tell her that God loved her and then your life will be restored. Your marriage will be straight. You will never go through what your mother went through. You will never go through that. You will never go through what your mother will go through. You will never suffer. Because your mother suffered. Names were called. They called her names. She was almost disgraced. But I want to tell you. God love you. God love you. And God want to bring a change. That crown. The enemy know who you are. And that's why they took away that crown from you. But now that you have this. Your life will be restored. But one thing you must do is to be close to Christ. Yes, one thing you must do is to be close to him. Is to be close to God. Forget about it. It's a thing of the past. Amen. When you forgive and overlook what happened, when you forgive and overlook what happened, your life will change. This is the problem. So the enemy uses to tie you down. The enemy uses to tie you down. They almost kill you. They almost do this. They almost no. Forget about it. Is that not what happened? It's correct. I'm not supposed to be alive, but no. But God has favored me. But don't worry. This is the time for you to be totally restored. Amen. This is the time for you to be totally restored. They know who you are. You are a giant. You are a great man. Amen. But they want to stop you because they know where you are going. They want to limit you. But from now that you have this mantle in your hand, from now that, now that you have this crown in your hand, you put it in your head, your life will change. Amen. People will begin to see you. 
You know, it's in, in, in First Chronicles chapter ten, from chapter four, from verse number ten, you realize that Jabez went through the same. No one recognized Jabez. No one called him anything. Even when they call meeting in the family, they said, "This one, what is he going to show? This one, what is he going to show?" In First Chronicles chapter ten, I mean chapter four, we look at verse number ten. Jabez prayed, and God restored him. Amen. And Jabez became a honorable man. So the same thing has happened to you today. Amen. The same thing has happened to you. But one thing you must do is to know the God that restore you. Amen. Is to know the God that bring you to himself. Is to serve him all the days of your life. Then you begin to see a change. Hallelujah. You begin to see a change. I want you to be close to him. I want you to be close to him. Play an instrument for him. You know how to play instrument? You know instrument? Do you know instrument? No, I don't. Learn how to play it. Yes, play it for God. Okay. Play it for God. Which one do you want to play for him? I don't know how to play any instrument, but I think of the guitar. That's what I'll try with. I, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear what he said. What did he say? I do not know how to play an instrument, but I'll try the guitar. That's where I'll start off with. Go and learn it now. Very, very well and play it for God. As David was playing the guitar for God, and the life of David, no one, no one could ever stand before David. He's one of the greatest kings in the land of Israel. He fought all battle. No one defeated him. Amen. Play an instrument for God. Go and learn it. It will take you only a few days, few weeks. You become expert. You play it for him. Okay. You come on Sunday, go to his house, take it and play. In your house, you play it. You begin to develop that relationship with God. You begin to develop that relationship through song. Sing in your own language. You don't have to sing in English. You don't have to sing in, uh, 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 what do you call it? In, 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 uh, in Latin, no? Or in Hebrew, no? Sing in your own language. Which language you speak? Chichewa. I'm from Malawi. Eh? Chichewa from Malawi. Chichewa. You speak Chichewa? I want you to sing it in Chichewa. Play it and sing in Chichewa. Okay. You understand? Yes. The angels will stand with you and you see how your life will change. Amen. You see how your life will change. Your family will be surprised what will come of you. But make sure you send something to your stepsister. They are suffering. Amen. They are going through a lot. Amen. And that, is, that thing is affecting you badly. It's affecting you in different ways. Yes. You try many things, nothing goes forward. You try. But no way. But I want to tell you today, you are going to try. You are no longer going to try. You, are, you have succeeded already. Amen. By my word, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are coming to celebrate with you, Amen. they are coming to celebrate you. But make sure, make sure I hold my ear, make sure you hear me. Be close to God, be closer more than ever to God, yes, sir. And you see how your life will change, amen. You see how your life will be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go, you establish it is done in the name of Jesus Christ.